Let's go to the Independent Women's Forum Senior Policy Analyst, Patrice Leon Luca. We've also got Market Watcher Paul Dietrich. Paul, ended with you. Uh, what do you think now of the prospect of a deal or even the semblance of a structure of a deal and that the Fed's move and uh, where, where the markets clearly responded favorably to it actually puts the pressure on doing just that? Because you don't want to unwind all that with no action in, in Argentina. Well, what they're going to do, and it seems like for the last two weeks, uh, the administration has been working with the Chinese to come up with some framework. And that framework is, is that Trump will postpone uh, the increases in tariffs that were planned for January. In return, the Chinese uh, will get rid of their uh, tariffs at the moment against agricultural and energy products. Uh, and if, And then... Uh, there, but the promise is that we will increase tariffs in the late spring if there is no progress on these talks. So there is a deadline. If that happens, if that happens, I think next Monday is going to be a really good day for the stock market. Because if you look at, the, it will folk, refocus everyone's attention uh, on the underlying U.S. economy. I mean, we've had 20% plus earnings for the S&P this year. We're going to have 3% GDP growth. We're going to have a record, uh, probably the, the largest spending, retail spending spree in history during the Christmas season. Uh, all of these things are good. And the stock market is flat year to date. And so I believe uh, that we're going to see uh, a, a real movement because people are going to look at the underlying economy, which is running on all cylinders. And, and mark my words, I think this is going to be a December to be remembered. All right. Well, well, the Federal Reserve might quibble with whether it's firing on all cylinders, maybe not as many <laughs> cylinders. But, Patrice, is it your sense that if none of that happens, that the reverse holds, that, that, that the markets tank on Monday if there's not even the semblance of a deal or talk of, of talks again? I don't think the markets would tank. Perhaps they wouldn't shoot up, um, you know, or be stronger than we've certainly seen this week. Um, you know, I think generally, you know, as my colleague here alluded to, we are seeing a strong economy, but also the indications from Black Friday, from um, Cyber Monday, have been that Americans are willing to shop, and consumer spending has been driving economic growth. And I think going into Q4 or in Q4, we're going to see that consumer consumer confidence continue to boost the economy. That's going to be great for the stock market. You know what I worry about, guys, and maybe it just proports, I certainly know the activity and, and seeing it in the shopping figures. Uh, and at first, it was my wife sort of holding it for the entire country. Now, it's, I'm happy to see that there are plenty of others joining her. But uh, particularly what's been happening on the housing front, Paul, I mean, data again and again, pending home sales uh, falling to a four-year low in October, uh, completing a, a Kate Schiller, existing home sales, new home sales, that, that, that all have slowed down mightily. Does that worry you? Well, uh, no. This has happened before, uh, especially if you look back uh, at at previous periods of time when the Fed was raising rates. Uh, there was a short-term period where the rates did seem to stop home building because people had an expectation of if they could spend this amount of money, they were going to get this type of house. What happened was is that people start lowering their expectations. And if you want a new house, you're going to have to settle for something a little bit less than what you expected. We've seen this happen many times before. It will happen again. Uh, and you're going to see housing pick up, but people are going to be buying houses that are you know, a little bit less than what they desired. And that's something that's been different for the last, you know, 10, 15 years. Uh, when you look at things, Patrice, bullish? Um, well, I, I mean, maybe. I certainly not bearish. <laughs> <All right. laughs> you know, I, I do think, though, that the housing market, of course, has been a little softer this year than we've seen in the past. Um, you know, but to the point, uh, you know, that, you know, consumers are, if the Fed continues to be very aggressive in raising interest rates, that is going to weigh down heavily. And, and it's interesting right. that President Trump is trying to push, you know, the, the rising interest rates um, on, you know, onto G uh, Jerome Powell and, and the potential for the economy to start to, to <laughs> decrease because of that. And so, you know, it's not that 
surprising. I, I do hope, though, that this weekend at the G20, we do see some resolution with China uh, and that we do see that, you know, um, you know, world leaders coming out of this recognize that, yeah, the, the economy is strong here in the United States and that, you know, the United States in, in particular, though, is not going to continue to give away the farm when it comes to how we deal with China and allow their predatory practices to continue in the name of just trying to have some sort of fair trade because that really isn't fair. Yeah, uh, any deal is not necessarily better than no deal. Uh, yeah. Guys, I want to thank you both very, very much. Uh